Hi, welcome to Mindful Monday. I'm Tiffany, and I'll be here every Monday to guide you through mindfulness and how to use that in your everyday life. This week, I want to talk to you about mindful walking. First, I'm going to guide you through some actual mindful walking that you can do in your house or outside. And then I'm going to take you through a mindful walking meditation for those times when you simply can't do the actual action of walking. Walking is done so often in a rushed and absent-minded state. We usually concentrate on the destination rather than the process of getting there. By being more mindful in our walking, we become more of aware of what is happening within and around us. This ultimately allows us to better control our actions and responses to negative or intense emotions. So let's try some mindful walking. Again, you can do this in your home. You can even pace back and forth in your living room or your bedroom. You can go outside and take a walk if, you know, weather permitting. So first of all, just begin walking. And as you begin to walk, you can focus your awareness on your breath. Observe any sounds you may hear. Now begin to notice each step. Begin to notice each part of the step. Consciously notice these actions that are usually completed automatically and unconsciously. Observe your body as you pick up your foot. Feel the muscles in the foot and leg engage and disengage and notice the floor or ground underneath the lifted foot. Notice the foot move away from your body. Notice the muscle engage. Observe your foot as you place it down. Lead this movement with the heel touching down first. Notice any sensations that arise in the foot or anywhere else in the body as you place the foot down. Notice the ground beneath the foot. Notice anything you may hear or feel. Now observe your body shift its weight onto the leg that has been placed forward and feel the muscles engage. Notice the back leg as the foot begins to lift. Allow the heel to lift first before lifting the whole foot. Notice the heel lift. Notice the toes lift. Observe any sound or any feelings as this occurs. Observe your foot as it completely lifts and begins to move upward and forward. And notice the foot lower to the ground. Notice the heel touch the ground and notice the whole foot settle onto the ground. Feel the shift in your weight as you move toward the next step. Continue to mentally observe each individual part of each step. Use your attention and awareness to stay completely present with each movement. And notice if your mind wanders. Do not judge this in yourself. You are not the mind. Do not resist the mind. Simply notice it and bring it back. Use your senses to ground yourself back in this moment. Use your awareness. Notice your breath. Walk without rushing. Slow movements are best in order to allow you to mindfully observe each segment of each step. Take small steps, but allow the movements to come naturally without forcing or changing it too much. And allow your hands and arms to relax in whatever way feels most comfortable. If allowing them to hang free feels right, then allow that. Observe the movement in your hands 
and arms. If holding the hands together behind your back feels natural, do so as it may allow you to completely focus on the steps instead of your swaying hands. As you walk, focus on different sensations. Notice the crunch of the ground under your foot and notice your breath. Focus on your legs and each muscle that engages with each step. Notice your upper body and how it feels. Use your other senses. What do you see? What do you hear? What can you smell? You may find you want to use a mantra or affirmation to focus your attention. A great mantra for walking, meditation, is so hum, which in Sanskrit simply means I am that. As you look around and notice the environment you walk within, you remind yourself that you are not separate from what is around you. As you breathe in, you can say, so, and as you breathe out, hum. Practice walking mindfully often and notice yourself walking in your everyday life. Notice the sensations that you are often unconscious of and notice your surroundings. Let these sensations anchor you back into their present moment. And remember, mindful walking requires that you not be on your cell phone. You don't want any distractions. Try to walk when others cannot distract you or talk to you. This will really help in your mindful walking. For those days when we can't go outside to walk or you don't feel comfortable walking in your home because there might be distractions or for whatever reason, I'm going to give you a walking meditation that you can use at any time when you feel that you need it. So let's do that now. For this meditation, I want you to find a position that is comfortable for you. That could be sitting down, that could be laying down. I want you to take a deep breath and gently close your eyes if this is comfortable for you. And easily imagine these scenes while you continue to breathe in and out slowly and calmly remembering to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth now see yourself relaxing by a beautiful calm lake the breeze softly blows over the lake and you watch the thousands of tiny ripples it creates on the surface of the lake. Your surroundings here are so calm and pleasant that it brings a feeling of complete peace. This calm feeling washes over your entire body and mind. You breathe in deeply and allow the peacefulness to fill you. You notice the birds singing in the trees, softly chirping and singing songs of their simple happiness. Take the time now to release any worries, any disturbing thoughts, any sadness you may be feeling. Let those feelings float up, out, and away, floating far away. Whatever has happened today that has bothered you, it is time to let that go. Know that you are really in control of your mind and your body. 
You can choose to allow these bothersome emotions to leave. In doing so, you will free up space in your heart and mind for positive things to come. Life is about creating what you want and choosing good thoughts that make you feel good. When you focus on the positive, you get more positive experiences in your life. Releasing any negative thoughts serves like an umbrella on a rainy day. Sure, the rain is there, but it doesn't have to affect you. In your mind's eye, picture yourself now in a stormy, rainy situation. As you open up your umbrella of positivity, you see how you are really protected from all that is going on outside. You are safe. You do not have to be a part of rainy difficulties. It truly is your choice how you react to whatever comes your way. Know that you have all the tools you need within. Just choose to use them. You can see your life from a happy perspective. Worry, disturbing thoughts, or sadness are choices of thoughts you think, and you can simply set them free and let them ripple away across the surface of the lake. You can release all the things that have been stressful to you and make peace with yourself. Make peace now with the amazing person that you truly are inside. As you look out over this serene lake, nurture yourself with your loving thoughts. Release any negative images or ideas about yourself. You have a choice in what you believe. Your mind is your greatest asset and your best tool. Now take in a deep breath. Allow good feelings to fill up your heart and your mind. Peacefulness and calm are all around you. And as you take these positive thoughts into your heart and your mind, slowly open your eyes when you're ready and stretch out fully and give yourself a hug. Thank you for joining me on this Mindful Monday, and I hope this helps you. Namaste.